What's going on, guys? It's Jedi Joey, and we got to talk about the the Acolyte, guys. Um, okay, now, I gave episode one and two very fair review. I thought that I did a really good job of being fair with the episodes. Now, there are going to be some people that are probably going to come after me for this review, and I'm not going to say you guys will be within your right. Um, all film and TV shows are subjective. So just know that if I didn't like something, if my friends didn't like something, we're only being honest and open. And I want to tell you guys, I'm not being paid by any company. So just so people, some people like to make the assumptions that I'm a Disney show or that I'm catered towards one side, I am slowly working on becoming my own screenwriter and my own storyteller. So I'm judging this based off the scripts, the storytelling, the acting, all the things that are why I watch a movie or a TV show. So don't think that I'm catering to one side if I think one episode of The Acolyte is good and one episode is bad, okay? What you need to know is that I'm going to be very fair here, but very firm at the same time. And also, there's going to be a lot of anger, okay? So we, we after the recap, we jump into The Acolyte episode 3. I was expecting from last episode that we're going to get full-blown episode of Jedi action with the Jedi Wookiee, which I really want to see. And while we get flashbacks on this episode, this episode is very boring, okay? I know this show is meant to be a slow burn, but I don't give, and I'm, I, I, I know we're past the 15 minute mark almost. Oh yeah, yeah we're, we're a minute, okay? I guess I can start saying this. I don't give a Bantha crap, poop shoot, whatever you want to say. I don't give, I don't give a Wookiee's left ear earlobe of Basically, um, Babu Frick would always say something like, like, I don't give a Babu Frick about this, about this. Bro, how fast are you going, bro? What the fuck? I'm only going 20, bro. The speed of it is 15. What the fuck? Wow. There you go. Star Wars swearing to keep our, um, copyright, to, to keep our, um, our channel as PG as possible. Since we're, this is a Star Wars show. I don't give a Babu Frick about these twins, okay? Look, I want to be interested in May's story. I really do. But this episode. And I've got to say, in all honesty, um, it's the biggest piece of dog shit that I have ever... Was absolute horse crap, all right? Like, the acting in this episode? Have you completely lost your mind? I don't have time for a debate. Good. Because there's nothing to debate. What you did... What I did? I did what I had to do after you made it necessary. Machin was only arrested by the SCPD because you gave him up. When your master plan doesn't work, you just sent a murdering psychotic back on the streets. Like you did with Sarah. It's not fair. Ricardo Diaz has God knows how much of our city in his grip. And you're picking now to lecture me or to whine about not getting a promotion? Promo he has the city wired, and it happened under your watch. He showed up while you were the Green Arrow. You bought drugs from him, John. You funded what he is doing right now. Yeah. The entire time, I put you in that hood, and you hid having a drug problem. And I was putting my body through hell for the sake of our city. No, you put the team at risk by lying. I had to dive off a bridge to save Renee's life because you were in the field, you weren't 100%, and nobody knew it. Think he gave me a choice? I think that you leave a trail of bodies every damn place that you go. Sure, you've changed. But what comfort is that to William? His mother's dead because of the bad decisions that you've made. My trail of bodies doesn't include my own brother. I'm not doing this. This isn't how I train. Oh, you, oh, you train? Really? I thought I thought your powers just dropped out of the sky. If you're trying to get a rise out of me, it's not going to work. You need a peanut gallery? Can you not do anything without your wife in your Are ears? Are you serious, man? Felicity invented quarterbacking. I don't think that you can go more than nine hours without some sappy motivational speech. All right, I'm not doing this. Your team betrayed you. You needed them, and they weren't there. I'm not I doing this. need to watch some of the better, some of the worst episodes of the CW shows and some of the worst acting that you've seen on those shows, this episode isn't even beautiful. This is probably one of the worst episodes in the history of Disney+, Plus. okay? Look, there's some bad stuff. I still think Secret Invasion is bad, 
I still think Miss Marvel's bad, but Miss Marvel was better than this. And that's telling something. Like, I have a lot of issues though the writing with Miss Marvel. These, look, I know that kids start young and they, and then, you know, when they cast a child actor, that actors improve over time. Sometimes someone's bad as a child, they grow up and become better. But what I will tell you guys is, man, these are bad child actors. And not just bad in the sense that, oh, they're, they're bad because they're not talented. They're bad in the sense that whoever made the script for this thing better get a lightsaber and chop some part, some body parts off. Because this this is one of the worst scripts I've ever seen. Like, this episode is boring. It's bland. I didn't give two craps about the, sto the story. I like the twins, but a lot of the nonsense them is predictable. And the acting is so bad. Like, oh, my ears were hurting from the way that these twins that are exactly alike are talking to each other. It just is bad, man. It's so bad. I I gotta give The Acolyte episode three a three out of ten. What did you guys think about The Acolyte? Are you guys on more on board with the show or less on board with the show? I'm still on the fence. I'm only gonna rate each episode out of ten. I'm not gonna review the whole show until I see all eight episodes. But what I want you to know is this is the worst episode of the show so far. And I can honestly say that with an open and honest opinion. See, I'm not a Disney show. I can give bad episode reviews. There you go. May the force be with you, and I'll catch you in the next video.